Hello folks, Puck here here and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 with Ishmael the Just. So we want to take our advantage and push this claim that we have while we've got it. But like we ran into issues in the last episode that prevented us from doing so, we just don't have enough prestige. Now I didn't we could, we've got minus fifty-nine. Okay, it's gonna cost us forty prestige to declare that war. I still want to. I think it's only fair that we do, but we're going to hold a feast. We're just going to have a nice feast in Bukhara. We're going to send out invoice to our guests. We're going to start the feast today. The servants run across the hall, bringing the final decorations. Some of the guests are yet to arrive, and I indulge myself in a delicious drink by the fire. Oh, I seem to have spotted some roast swan already. We have a lovely time ahead of us. Uh, Liege is once again at war. He is dealing with the latest conquest war. It's not going too well for him. He, I think, has bitten off more than the troops. Slightly less advantage in troops now. And now he is facing a another. He is now defending against oh Suradara. The guests have gathered in the great hall, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome friends! Welcome. <clears throat> in a drunken stumble, Shambhava unlatched in an enormous cauldron hanging over the fireplace in the middle of the feasting hall. Savory broth welled forth to cover half the room in a sea of stew. The irritable Yaya, seated next to the cauldron, was caught by the rushing wave and yelled, loudly cursed his ruined appearance as grease ran down his fa face. Guests rushed to the other side of the hall as the thick mass spread greasily tendrils among skipping feet. Varg stood catatonic in the middle of it all, shocked and horrified at the decadent waste. Curse this mess! Just made it worse for ourselves. Uh, is there anything more jovial than a good feast with stew on the floor? Guests throng to and fro, eating and chatting while flickering torchlight plays off every wall. Light bouncing like laughter around the hall. I've always found the natural order of a banquet delightful to behold. Tables neatly laid out, social ranks quietly enforced, everyone happy and laughing in their proper place, exactly where they should be. Sometimes it's nice to simply sit back and enjoy the little things in life. Good folk to mingle with here. All my guests smile, satisfied at their plates when I look at them, proud of my display of generosity. That said, Shambhava might carry more shame than satisfaction after overturning the cauldron. Cleaning up will not be cheap. However, we should do this more often. I did everything I could ensuring Naib, Ransir and Yalada would be as far from each other as possible. It was not enough, and now they have come to blows in the middle of my feast. One of my guards is close to the brawl and looks to me for the order to intervene. Halt! We will talk about this later. What a vast and endless array of foods and desserts this is. Are these the kind of meals I can expect in heaven? Oh. What about expansive selection of sweets? This must be the most food I've ever seen in one place. How delightful. Few candles survive after the last of the guests have left. I can hear a pair of servants letting out sighs of relief as the doors close. The food is still warm on the ceramic plates. Soon word will reach every corner of the realm and every noble worth their salt will know that my magnificence is unparalleled. With all my guests leaving my castle with the entire contents of my vast pantry in their bellies, I am proud to say that the feast was a success. Nonetheless, I will still I am still grateful that the endeavour is over for now. The cleanup will be a while. Stew on the floor. And with that, it is all done.
Oh, boy, what a feast. So now we are in a good position. We are in a good position. And I think time shall no longer be wasted. We will declare war on our claim or that of our brother. Wrathful, gregarious, arrogant, half-brother. And it's your claim that we could push. Perhaps we should push our own. We will declare this war. I am sorry, brother. We must do what we must do. The troops are being rallied. And we will head straight for their capital. By Bukhara, Volka. Look out! Oh, my wife is pregnant. My son and heir, Godzilla, is now six years old. We will... Diplomacy. Well, it has to, it's got to be me. I will educate my son. And my son, I will ask you to study the language. I would like you to learn the Scythian language, my son. I feel in diplomacy, all languages will come in useful for you. My daughter is also of age, Kation, his twin, obviously. She is being educated in education. I will seek my Seychelle or my court physician. Perhaps my wife. My dear wife. <laughs> I'm not sure how my second wife will feel about this and perhaps even how you would feel about this. You are pregnant. You are under some stress and strain. However, I would like you to educate my daughter. Yes. See how she takes that news. <laughs> we can call our allies into war. I do believe we should be fine. We can now go straight in. Look out! And then just, just quickly look at Katian as well and get her to study the language of Sophia. The language of my marshal. Quick battle. Outnumber them. Easily done. And we captured some important guests there. We're now going to conquest. And it should take us about nine months. We will do this. Might be handy at time, actually. My ward Yaya has come of age, and it is time he left my care. Always the curious and knowledgeable, hungry child, Yaya has shown an affinity for scholarship from an early age. His understanding of physiological and theoretical, oh my god, tongue chesters, I can't get this today, works is impressive, and he often engages in debate with his former teachers. Even at such a young age, he can be heard quoting obscure passages to support new ideas and theories. We are of his heirs. My wife's contributions towards his education cannot go unmentioned. Her lessons have given Yaya valuable knowledge of his future life. His parents will surely be proud to call him their son. Yes, and he is betrothed to my daughter as well. So, this is good... He has got a masterful philosopher education. My wife truly has indeed produced some great awards, my nephews. Until we meet again, yeah, yeah, and well, soon. And we do have some more of our children coming into our educational age here. We have Rukasha. She is a quick and also fecund. She is another twin. She is in studying in the ways of intrigue. I do wonder, maybe we will send you, Rakusha, off as well. To where your sister is. 
Uh, perhaps I will ask if you would be so inclined to take my daughter, Rakushin, under your tutelage. I'll give you my second daughter. Or my other daughter. An intrigue. My daughter Afsan. Yeah. I know of Kagul Bad's my Senshal's philosopher and scholarly virtues. He is well recommended to, in court. Now I feel we will ask him to take care and education of my daughter. My dear brother, I would be happy to educate your daughter, Rukushan Summoned. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit. Excellent. Thank you, my brother. My niece needs an education. Uh, she is being educated in the learning tree. My niece. Ah, yes. Your father is my brother, Yaya. Yes. I will send you off as well. To be educated. In the guardianship. Naive Fazan, my spy master, has seemed to take a particular interest in my daughter, Harry, uh, as of late. My lord, the situation in Summoned House is growing tenser by the day. Your relatives are ever conspiring against you. He says, nudging Avisa to come forth. But I have been cultivating a network of young informants to help you gain an edge, for smaller spies have many uses. Stole these children are commoners. The young lady Avisa here has remarkable talents and could benefit you. Why are you taking an interest in my daughter? She's not even in our court. Naive. You're deceitful. Hmm. What schemes are you plotting in the background? No. My daughter is a, is a noble, not a petty spy. Your bro daughter, Rakushan, has arrived safely, my brother. I shall begin her lessons forthwith. Very good. Thank you, brother. We have 32 days left in the siege. My daughter, oh, have you, uh, you have been so brave, so strong, words cannot describe my love for you, and now we have a perfect little daughter. Who will you become, my child? And what shall I call you? We will call you Shamin. May you grow strong and wise, my daughter. She is fecund and intelligent. Yes, may you grow strong and very wise, my daughter. Meanwhile, the siege is over. We have captured who we need to capture. The siege is won. So we will now make our peace and enforce our demands. I'm sorry, brother. So victory, so be it. We have now solidified how the round we are our max domain limit. <clears throat> we have a lot of work to do. We will disband our troops and let them return to their homes. We are in a good position, I fear. Perhaps we are going to be in a position soon with the wars that my brother are losing to take over the mantle. This war is ebbing and flowing. It is so close. Do I help my brother in this war? Or do we take these opportunities that he is being weakened, but by weakening him, he is weakening us all. And then whoever does take the mantle has a hard struggle. I want to contemplate those. I think we may give it a while and then I may reach out to my brother and interfere and intervene on his behalf to help him out. But Bukhara has now expanded once more. We have had a feast. 
It's been great. We have just had another daughter <laughs> added to the realm. Our dynasty grows ever. Yaya and Odious, our nephews, have both received great educations from my wife. And they are on their way to whatever beholds them both. I'll keep them pinned up there. Yeah, just so we can keep an eye on them for a bit. Rukusha, Afsan, Godzilla, Gatian, and of course my oldest, Avizir, are all being educated with Avizir and Rukasha, I think it is. Yes, being educated in the court of my brother and my Amir's spy master. Things are good right now. We will solidify, we do have some work to do. We are still now three years away. A marshal. A marshal. Ten years away. Why is it taking you so long, my marshal? Why is it taking so long to get the populace under control here? My dear cousin, are calling you to honour our alliance and join me in the Fugan claim on the Vihara of Cha. My cousin against my half-brother. I am sorry, dear cousin. I will not reject family with family. My half-brother. My half-brother, though, known to be deceitful. We are close. I am sorry, but I will have to decline. I hold these lands. We need to get this area under control. I am getting frustrated everly that my marshal cannot get the populace under control soon enough. I feel soon it is time that we may just be pushed to shove and replace our marshal. Great news! The conflict between Saya Dara and Samanid interested me little until my council's summary of the Battle of Kashish appeared. Somehow I know, even before I opened it, that it contains good news. There amongst the dispatches it reads, We confirm Vala Ibrahim was killed staunchly resisting the Transoxianian armoured footman. He was slain by Yanal, son and heir of High Chieftain Yunus, in a fierce encounter. <laughs> I can't help but grin at the thought. Abraham died fighting my wars. Oh, this will buoy my spirits for days. So our rival is dead. He was slain in battle. Oh, good riddance. Oh, good riddance. What great news this is. Oh, now my my brother, as we saw, has taken uh, this territory for his own. I shall... No, he has already given it to somebody else. Okay. Ah, uh, detractor. Impatient, zealous, but wrathful. We shall keep an eye on that. Greetings. I have heard good things about you and I am interested in starting a written conversation. I hope this letter finds you willing, for I am waiting your swift reply. Oh, okay. Are you... Oh. Yes. <laughs> well, we'll start. Yes, we will uh, start exchanging letters with Iraq. Could become a, a potential ally for us. Hmm. My dear brother, it would please me greatly if you would personally see to little Frozan's education until she comes of age. Yes, my brother. Hmm. He has asked us to look after her niece. We we will accept, my brother. I am honoured that you continue to do so, though. We have proven that we are capable of educating your children. 
Thank you for your swift response. I am looking forward to our correspondence. Please, I implore you, pick the first subject for us to discuss. Yes, physiological debates are always interesting. Yes. My brother has turned the tide in his war. Hmm. Good. Very good. I was pleased to see how invested you are in your passions. Your last letter definitely proves your skill in them. Since you have indulged me so, I must ask, is there anything I can do for you? I only wish to continue exchanging letters. Young Frizan, the Emir's daughter, my niece, has at last arrived from Seminard for her education. When she is settled in, the lessons will begin. Excellent! Excellent indeed. Let's have a look at her. So, yes, she is three years old. A little bit pensive. Excellent. Yes, I am her guardian, of course. But yes, excellent. Settle in, and then we will begin your education. We have a lot of gold. We are saving up. Now that we have... Well, we we could still take this. I feel the need to is less. So we are going to look at investing in the realm. I was going to look here eventually anyway and I was going to look at farms and fields so we're going to construct some farms and fields here in, in Farabar a war up here my poor brother had never had a chance and with that ladies and gentlemen we will call this episode here we have accomplished a lot here as we enter into the 1st of April. We've held a feast. We have successfully expanded our lands once again. As you can see, Bukhara. We had great news. Our rival was slain in battle. And we, we were blessed once more with a daughter. Shamin. Our other children, Godzilla, has been... I am educating him. I have been requested that my niece is my guardian, but my daughters, Kation, Afsan, Rakushan, they have all reached the age of education. We have sent Rakushan out to be educated with her sister, where her sister is as well. And the rest has been found good educators the dynasty grows we are stronger our brother his well his, his main war here is back and forth we may pounce we have started the construction and fervor of some crop fields things are moving ahead here it is now time that we call today's episode i just want to take this time before the next episode that comes out on Monday to wish each and every one of you a very, very happy new year. This is coming out Friday, of uh, the last Friday of December. However, I just want to take this opportunity as well for those uh, that you have a great, safe new year. Don't party too hard on New Year's Eve, but stay safe nonetheless. I wish nothing but the very best for you all, and I thank you all for your support. If you want to keep track of this series until the next video comes out check out above right now the link click on the link there you'll see it on screen to the playlist i am pakira as always until next time take care of yourselves and each other kia kaha